Hi everybody, it's Guru Bob and welcome to day 7 of the 2009 30 day challenge. Uh, this is going to be a fairly short video, I'm just going to be uh, pointing you towards uh, the pre-season videos I recorded on, um, on setting up Google Analytics and showing you how to add your Google Analytics code to the, the uh, WordPress direct blog that you should have set up on day 6. Now just before I move on to the screen to show you that, I just want to talk a little bit briefly about uh, some comments we've seen about my domain uh, naming videos on day five. Uh, let me clarify, under no circumstances do we want you to um, acquire dom domain names that include a trademarked brand name. That's not something we suggest. Um, the example I used in that video, I only used that particular phrase because I had, uh, I had talked about that phrase on day two when we were looking at... Um, keyword research principles. So just to clarify, we don't uh, recommend that you acquire domain names with branded, with branded and trademark names, unless of course you happen to own that uh, brand name yourself. All right, without further ado, let's move on to the screen. In the uh, pre-season for 30 Day Challenge, I did a uh, quite an extensive video on setting up Google Analytics, so opening up a Google Analytics account and how to add a profile for a website and add that code to your website. I'm not going to go over that again in the 30 day challenge but I am going to direct you to where that video is so um, if you go to the 30daychallenge.com training page you can see at the top of the page here um, there's a link to the pre-season videos which are below the day video so I click on that link then you'll see here there's a video on Google Analytics and that explains how to set up a Google Analytics account, um, create a profile in that account, and uh, add the code to your to your site. Now, um, once you have done that and you've been through the instructions in that video, you will have a your your site uh, all set up inside Analytics. And what we what we're really interested in is the code, the specific Analytics code that is um, that relates to that site. So you can see I've logged into the 30 Day Challenge. Analytics account, you can see that we've got the blog that we did for last year's 30 day challenge and the code I'm interested in is the code that starts with UA dash and then a number. So what I would do is select that code um, and just copy that to the clipboard. Then I would log into WordPress Direct, I've logged into the 30 day, 30 day challenge WordPress account where I've got our blog, click on show options and then click on the settings button and that will take you into the settings for that website, which I'm going to do now. So here I am inside the settings uh, of that, that site. Now I've got some things uh, blocked out here, uh, usernames and passwords and things, but you can see that the area that we're interested in is the Google Analytics ID. Now if you followed Marty's instructions from day six, you would have left the, the dummy code uh, when you installed your blog. Now you're going to replace that with the code that you just copied across from your analytics account, the UA dash number. Um, and then click, uh, go down to the bottom of the, the, the settings here and click uh, save website settings and you are done. Now, one thing to know about Google Analytics is that it is uh, 24 hours delayed. So um, you won't see the traffic um, that you get you know, on a particular day until the day after. Well, that was uh, it for Google Analytics, short and sharp. Go and watch the uh, pre-season video and, uh, and then just add this code in and you're good to go. I'll speak to you soon in another video on day seven.